Hello writing students. This lesson we are going to work on the story sequence chart again. And remember there are three paragraphs that you'll be working on. The first paragraph is the setting and characters. And the setting is where and when the story takes place. And you're going to describe those in such a way that gives your reader an image of uh, what you're writing about. And the characters are who is in the story. What are they like and what is their personality? Okay, and the second paragraph is going to be the problem or conflict. What do the characters want or need? And what are they saying about what they want or need? And what do they do about that? Okay, and the third paragraph is the climax or resolution. Okay, and how was their problem solved? And what is the message or lesson that they learned? Okay, now the story that we're going to be working on this time is called The Boy and the Peanuts. So read along with me. A boy was given permission to put his hand into a jar and get some peanuts. But he took such a great fistful that he could not pull his hand out again. There he stood, unwilling to give up a single peanut, and yet unable to get them all out at once. Upset and disappointed, he began to cry. My boy, his mother said, said his mother, be satisfied with half the nuts you have taken, and you will easily get your hand out. Then perhaps you may have some more peanuts some, t some other time. Okay, now what is the setting of this story? Um, the story doesn't say exactly when or where it took place, so that's something that you'll be making up. Uh, when was it? What time of day? Was it sunny? Was it rainy? Was it morning? Was it afternoon? Uh, you could say that it was before something. Maybe it was um, before dinner or um, before he had to go to bed, or maybe it was after something, after his nap or after lunch. Uh, where did the story take place? Was it outside? Was it inside? If it, it was inside, was it in the kitchen? Was it in the den? Um, and the characters. Uh, there are two characters in the story, the boy and his mother. So you can describe the boy. You can say how old he was um, and what was his personality. And the mother, what was her character or personality? Okay, so what was the problem of the story? What did he need? What did he want? What did he say and do about what he needed or wanted? What did the mother say and do? Okay, and what was the resolution? How did he solve the problem? Or did he solve the problem? Did he have a, a positive outcome? Or did he have a negative outcome? Okay, did he take his mother's advice? What was the lesson that he learned? Okay, so to help us with the outline, when you all come into the classroom, I'm going to put these papers on the desk. Okay, and on this one it has uh, mom and boy. And I have these pages right here that um, have L-Y words and uh, words that describe their personality. So what you're going to do is you're going to look through this and you're going to find some words that describe the boy and the mother. So you can just peel it off and stick it on. So you'll find four or five words that go with the mom and four or five words that go with the boy. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to look through the story and you're going to find a few verbs, maybe four or five verbs. And then you'll find some L-Y words that go with each verb. So I have the L-Y words here and you can go ahead and peel them off and they'll stick right on there and that will help us with the outline.